Am I doing this right? I've always wanted to do an ASMR video. Maybe 2020? Bonk. Hi friends, it is I, Leviki. Today I am getting ready to go out. Wow, I'm going somewhere. I have a Christmas Advent concert. If you guys don't know, I may have mentioned it here before. I am part of a church choir. Yes, I like to sing. It's an Advent slash Christmas concert for the choir that I'm part of at my church. So I want to get ready and beautiful and do a cute little old holiday look and share it with you guys. Hopefully you guys get some inspiration. If you guys are getting ready to go to a holiday party, you can get ready with me. I want to make this super quick and easy and straightforward. Let's see how that goes. So I want to do a fun holiday look and I have been super inspired and I have been wanting to do this for a really long time. The Heidi Lamar Zegfeld. Am I saying that right? Zegfeld girl. I want to do the one and only iconic look from the Zegfeld girl movie. Today we're doing Heidi Lamar's look. Very iconic, very pretty. I think a lot of us vintage gals love that look and have recreated it at one time or another, uh, especially with that beautiful star crown. And I also made the star crown. I don't think I'm going to be wearing that to the concert tonight, but I still made it anyways. Really easy DIY in case you guys are interested. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just get right into it. I'm gonna start with my face primer. I am taking the, let's zoom in so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing. I'm gonna take the NYX Angel Veil Primer and prime my face. I've really been loving this thing lately. It's so soft. Ooh, is that ASMR? It's primer, it's very soft and velvety. It feels so nice on my skin. And so yeah, that's what I've been using lately to prime my face. And it's really good. Now that that's done, I'm gonna take my uh, HD Studio Photogenic Foundation from NYX as well. This one's pretty light. I think it's in the color fair, but because it's really light, I'm gonna mix it a little bit with my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat foundation. And this one is soft beige. I'm not sure if that matters, but I'm just telling you. I promise you that this video is not sponsored by NYX. I just really like their products. Nice, affordable, and cruelty free. <laughs> and I'm just gonna pat it all over. Heidi had just absolute flawless, flawless skin. Ooh, I'm looking still a little pale, but we're gonna bring in some color in just a bit. Something about just applying, like I use mostly my fingers and then at the end I go over it just to polish things off with my brush. But something about using my fingers to just spread it, like I feel like the warmth of your skin just kind of, kind of just helps blend everything nicely and it seeps into your skin and I don't know, to me it just looks better. There's some great brushes out there, but my hands are always my favorite method to first apply it. And then at the end, I take this brush, foundation brush, and I just kind of pat it all in. Mm -hmm. Now that that is done, I am going to do my brows. Now for her brows, she did have kind of like 20 brows. As part of this look, they were less arched, but you know, so thick or dark. Um, I don't want to cover my brows or like change them for the look. Um, you know, it's not necessarily a transformation. It's just an inspired look. Yeah, what am I going to do? I think I'm just going to go over them with my trusty NYX eyeshadow uh, brow kit. No, did I say eyeshadow? I mean eyeshadow brow kit. Um, and kind of just go over it. Maybe I'll try not to arch them as much. Just go over the natural shape I have. Because usually I like whoop make it a little bit more exaggerated, whatever that means, whoop, just go up and exaggerate the arch, but not today. So I'm just taking the darkest color because your her brows are very like dark and marked and I'm just gonna go in there. So I'm not gonna try to make them thicker, just darken them. And this one's more arched than the other, I feel, you can see that, but that's okay. As they always say, they're sisters, not twins, not identical twins. So my brows are obviously a little bit thicker than hers, but that's okay, it still works for the look. So we're just gonna stop there. Very easy. Obviously, if you have like thinner brows, you can go in more and recreate her shape. That's the nice thing about having thinner brows or like no brows sometimes that you can create whatever look you want with your brows. You're free. When you have dark caterpillars on your forehead like me, you're a little bit more limited unless you start like blocking and doing these like other makeup tricks, which I'm not gonna do today because I'm going to a concert and I don't wanna look too costumey. Okay, now that that is done, I'm gonna go in and curl my lashes. This is just like the process, the way I start. I do foundation and then I work my way down like that. I'm gonna curl my lashes. Yeah. Bloop and a bloop. I always like curling my lashes before eyeshadow or eyeliner or anything like that. I just feel like if I go in after, some of the product comes off. 
on the eyelash curler, so I like doing that before. So, Miss Lamaze's character in the film was wearing, I think she was wearing a little bit of eyeshadow, but it was very natural. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm taking my very <laughs> bleh, dirty Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills palette, and I am going to take the color Tempra, um, and I'm gonna first apply that to my lid with a clean brush. <laughs> I need to wash these. Also, my foot's falling asleep. So she has like a very natural look, but it does look a little bit like orangey. There's like a bit of color, color, there's a bit of color in there. So I'm gonna take the color tempera first, just as a base. Oh no, wait, but before that, oops. I wanted to apply some of this e.l.f. shimmery, liquidy eyeshadow, just as a base, kind of to serve as my eyeshadow primer. Let's just pretend I did this first. It's gonna help the other stuff, the other powder stuff stick on there. I hope you guys like this close-up. I'm trying to do more close-up. I got a new camera, so I feel like I can do more closer shots. I really like seeing the details of when people put their makeup on, so hopefully you guys like this. So yeah, now I'm taking the color tempera and I'm spreading it all in for a nice light base. Light colors like this really help open up your eyes. And if you have a day that you're looking tired and sleepy, like I kind of do today, most of the time, this really helps. It's like, I'm awake, I'm here. I got eight hours of sleep, but you truly didn't and you only got like four. Okay, now I'm taking the color Burnt Orange. There, it's like a tan with a like tiny hint of orange and that's what it kind of looks like to me. Like she has going on in the photos, like these images online are obviously edited. Kind of hard to know truly what she was wearing, but this kind of gives you a more or less idea. It's a little messy, but don't worry. We're gonna blend it out in just a little bit. Like we always do. So I'm taking my fluffy angled brush and I'm just going in and do -do 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 -do, gently going in a windshield wiper motion and blending that out on the crease until it looks good more or less. I'm gonna take a little bit of this golden orchard color right here. No wait, where is it at? Right here. And I'm gonna blend that in as well. It's a little lighter, so it's very it's like a skin toned light color, but it still gives you that effect. This is obviously a very soft crease. I feel like I could afford to go a little bit more with that burnt orange on the outer corner, so. Ooh, I made a mess here, no worries. See, this is why I always apply my concealer last. If I had a yellow with me, I would probably even go in there with a little yellow, like lightly, but I'm too lazy to get up and go grab it, so. We're working with this today. I'm gonna take the color Primavera, which is a shiny pearly light color, um, and apply that right under my brow to highlight it. And sometimes using your finger with these shimmery colors helps a little bit more. See? It's there, but it's not too like, bam, we here. But it will be like the final product, hopefully. I may have lost a little bit of that light color on my shadow or my shadow on my lids, my eyelids. So I'm gonna go back in with my finger and just pat it back on so that we could have that right there. Sometimes that happens. So now I'm gonna take some eyeliner. Yes, eyeliner. God. Uh, I'm taking my Wet n Wild, um, is this by Wet n Wild? Yeah, my Wet n Wild pencil. And let's see what type of eyeliner she had going on. So not a lot. It was a very natural look. Like it wasn't a dramatic cat eye. I mean, it was there, but it wasn't too much. It's barely even noticeable. This look I think is more about the lashes than anything else. So I'm just gonna focus on getting the eyeliner done, but staying as close to the lash line as possible. There we go. See, that looks good. It's not like, overly dramatic. Now that I've used my pencil, um, and that's just mainly, mainly for precision to like get the line down, um, I have shaky hands, so that helps me a lot. I'm taking my NYX uh, Matte Liquid Liner. I really love this one. And I'm gonna go over everything as much as possible, but still try not to make the line too thick. Oh, I made a boo-boo already, darn it. That does it, that's pretty good. For the mascara, I'm going to, I'm taking my Wet n Wild uh, Mega Wear Mascara and I'm applying it to my both top and bottom lashes. She had long bottom lashes as well as top ones. So we're just going in with the mascara on the top and bottom lashes. And then I'm gonna start preparing my 
lashes. Oh Jesus, Lord help them. Poor girls look like they're dying, but they still got some life in them. These are my uh, Care Beauty lashes. I use these for my Elizabeth Taylor look. I like them because they're very like big and dramatic um, and they work great for this look as well. Her lashes are very open, long and wispy. Looks like she had some fake lashes on too on there. So I'm taking these. I think these would be perfect to help recreate that. So now normally I would go over my lashes with some more mascara, but because these are already really long and dramatic, I feel like I don't need to do that. Also, I don't want to take away from the natural wispiness they have, which is what Heidi had going on with her lashes. Like they look very natural the way they are already. I mean, natural enough uh, for fake lashes. So what I am going to do though is take my pencil and that glue, uh, it dries up clear, but I'm still going to go over it a little bit to kind of hide anything and finish up blending in the lashes with my natural lash line and eyeliner and then finally for the eyes i'm gonna take uh some white eyeliner it looks to me like she was wearing it or maybe she just had like really white uh waterline but i'm gonna take my white eyeliner and i'm gonna apply some to my waterline and ooh, what are you focusing on over there for i'm right here next i am going to finally take my um concealer and then conceal my face i'm gonna take my nyx colors uh conceal correct concealer uh and this one's like in a yellow yeah it's in the color yellow and it's from the dollar tree it's only a dollar it's very inexpensive but my goodness look at that coverage it is absolutely amazing i still use the nyx one um which is my i guess second favorite now but this one amazing i'm just gonna blend it in with my fingers I apply it like at the bridge of my nose, between my eyebrows, and of course under my eyes. And then finally, I can go in with my brush and just pat things out the same way I do for my foundation. You know what? I'm gonna take a little bit of my NYX concealer and I'm gonna put some like around my brows to kind of help clean up around them and just maybe see if I could create a little bit more of that roundness yeah there you go that totally helps like cover some of the smaller hairs and make them look even more rounded all right now we're going to do the rest of the face i'm going to take my uh besame cosmetics sleeping beauty blush palette and i am going to uh take the bronzy color here for bronzing and contouring so i'll take my angled brush and dab it a little bit in that and just go like through the sides of my cheeks. I am really, really in love with this uh, Bessemer Cosmetics Blair Rose Blush Palette. Um, when I first got it, I must say I was a little bit shocked with the colors because they were so intense and pigmented, um, which is great. But sometimes when you're not used to it, you apply a little bit and you're like, whoa, that is a lot of color. I've learned to use it and a little bit goes a long way with this one. And I always like to also go on my nose a little bit, but I usually take like a smaller brush or like an eyeshadow brush. I have this contouring brush um it's like for your nose and whatnot and i just go a little bit right there it might look dark right now but we're gonna just blend it out i always like doing this to my nose i feel like it just makes it look nice and i don't know cute like you have a little tan nose like a little sunburn or something it's not heidi's nose of course but it is my nose and i like it just pat it in sink it in there we go and it still looks very natural and that's that. Now, as for blush, uh, I'm not going to use the blush that's in here. I'm actually going to go over to my CoverGirl uh, Clean Glow Blush in the color Peaches. I'm falling apart obviously um in the color peaches i've had this one for quite some time and i am in love with it and these pink ones are nice but i feel like for this look she had a very natural look going on so this one like blends in with my skin more for a more natural look so i'm going to use this one today again it doesn't look like she's wearing a lot of blush in the image i'm sure she probably was especially with those cameras back in the day they washed you out a lot um so she probably was wearing like a good amount of blush but you can't really see it in the image now i'm gonna go back to the blair rose blush palette from nyx and highlight my cheekbones the tip of my nose a little bit and i'm also gonna take a small maybe like between my brows 
my lid right here. And I am gonna take a very dense brush and also apply a little bit to the inner corners of my eyes to help brighten them up. All these little things just put together make a whole world of a difference. Only last thing left is the lips and of course the hair, which I'll get to in just a bit. But for makeup, the only last thing left is lips. Her color is a very bright, intense red. So this movie, I believe, does take place in the 1920s, even though it's funny, it looks 40s, um, the style to me. But anyways, I'm gonna take my Bessemer red, which I think matches what she's wearing really well. And funnily enough, this is a 1920s replica uh, color. I'm gonna go over my lips with the color Forever Red from Alley Girl Lip Liner. I just bought a kit of a bunch of Alley Girl lip liners from Amazon and I got all the colors in the world and this one matches the best of my red pretty well, so. She wasn't doing anything crazy or too different with her lips um, when lining them. Some, you know, women do that sometimes, but she was just following her natural lip shape, so that's what I'm gonna do. You know, like Audrey Hepburn would over line her lips uh, at the top lip, I believe, a little bit. Or like Maria Felix used to really, really like exaggerate the Cupid's bow here. None of that today. We're just gonna stick to our natural lip. Okay, now we can use this. I am amazed by how well this color fits what she was wearing because it's like a bright red, which I feel has like a little tint of orange, which this color does too. So, nice. That's it for the makeup. Now we're gonna get into the hair. So I'm gonna remove my head scarf that I have. Ugh. So I set my rollers last night and I set them into a middle part because that's what she had going on. So now, I'll, excuse me while I remove these. Okay, they're all out. But yeah, basically I just curled the front strands in like this section. I did the rollers inwards and then the rest out. I'm gonna try not to really brush out my curls. So now that this is brushed out more or less, I'm gonna take my duck clips. I just keep dropping everything. And uh, pin the sides, front sides up. And I'm also gonna take some more duck clips and put them on the sides, like right here. Just gotta shape the curls because right now I'm looking like poof. Hair down the middle is not always my thing. Well, actually I used to wear it down the middle a lot, but I wanna make sure that with this look, I'm not looking too much like poofy and stuff. Yeah, and so the goal is just to kind of tame the curls here. Bring these up a little bit. Now that everything is clipped, so I've clipped the sides down and then of course done clips here. I'm gonna take some hairspray and spray things down. Pat in everything. And now we wait for things to dry. I went off screen for a minute um, and used the dryer to help speed up the process and just like with the heat lock in everything in place and help mold the hair. So now that that is done, I think I can go ahead and remove these. So I'm just gonna start from the back. But because I have a long night ahead, uh, I'm just gonna go in and try to like fake it a bit with some bobby pins. So I'm gonna take some bobby pins in and try to use those to help keep the volume in place. And it's, my hair's not like falling and all you know, just not looking as fresh as like when I just did it. So yeah, just taking the bobby pins and molding things in place. I don't want especially this front part to be coming down um, at the concert or before or after. All right, there we go. More or less mimic some hairstyle that she had. That is it, hair and makeup is done. Now I'm gonna go change, go grab my crown and show the rest of the look to you guys. This is the final look. I went ahead and put on my star crown that I DIY'd myself that of course Heidi is wearing in the film. Hers is obviously a lot more dramatic and larger and professionally made. I DIY'd this one. It's a simple little baby one. Um, and I made it with supplies from the Dollar Tree and Amazon. So I got the wire. I got this really thin floral wire that worked well. It was at Dollar Tree and a headband. And then I bought the paper glitter stars from Amazon. And what I did was I laid the stars out and the crown so that I knew more or less in what like order I wanted everything to go. So I knew I wanted a roll of taller stars and a row of shorter ones and then I just apply the wire on. I use this thinner one that they just started bringing in and it worked really well. I tried it with some thicker one but it just looked too clumpy and not as dainty so this one worked fine and it was really easy to work with and then these little paper stars once I put all the wires on the tall and short ones I sandwiched the wire in between the stars with some hot glue to keep them on there and that was it.
for my dress. I don't know if you guys remember this baby, but I showed it to you guys in my most recent holiday slash winter thrift haul. And I was telling you guys, I don't have a fancy dress to wear anywhere and I don't really know that I need it, but I got this one for $1.20 in case the occasion ever came. And it is, it's here. So this is the dress that I'm wearing. Of course, Heidi wore a long white flowy dress in the movie for this look, but um, I have to wear a concert black and this is what I have and it works. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this little vintage Heidi Lamar recreation makeup look video. Loving, loving, loving it. So happy that I get to wear this for the holidays. Hopefully this inspires you guys for a holiday look. Now I gotta go get my butt to the concert because rehearsal will start soon. Wish me luck. Well, by the time you're seeing this, the concert will already have happened, but maybe I'll update you guys on Instagram or on here. If you like this video, like this video. If you're new here and you haven't already subscribed, I would love to have you as part of this little old community we have on here. Honestly, you guys mean the world. To me as always sending you the biggest virtual hug wherever it is that you are in the world and i will see you very soon with another video bye Bonk.